It's that time of the month again. Not that time of the month, a good time of the month. It's an Alpha Elite launch. We're looking at new Amplify, which is always a good time, and new Surface. Surface is surfacing. I just, I never actually tried it out before, so we're actually gonna be trying it for the first time on this channel, right here, right now. How was your weekend? How's your summer going? I actually did something crazy. I went to a Backstreet Boys concert. I relived my teen years all over again. It was awesome. I actually went with some friends and family. We rocked the night away. Now keep in mind, I don't really get out much, so this was a big deal for me. I didn't get to see him back in the day. I was actually more of an in-sync girl, if I do say so myself. You didn't hear that. But nevertheless, Backstreet Boys put on a fire show. So drop a comment. Who's your favorite Backstreet Boy? Or were you more of an in-sync kind of girl? Now, even though I loved my in-sync, Nick Carter just, he stole my heart. No offense, bae. Let's chit chat about the new Alpha Elite that's launching this Saturday, August 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So here's what we're looking at for the brand new Amplify. Let's start with the crop tops. They're gonna be coming out in hazelnut, which I'm wearing, blossom, misty lilac, washed denim, and whale blue. My personal favorite I'm wearing right now, hazelnut. In the leggings, we have hazelnut, blossom, misty lilac, washed denim, and whale blue. Again. So same colors, so far so good here. As far as shorts go, they are the 4.5 inch inseam, keep that in mind. We got hazelnut, blossom, misty lilac, washed denim and whale blue yet again. So they kept that very consistent, okay. There's no, uh, there's no guessing game going on here with the Amplify. So now let's switch to Surface. The Surface as a whole has less of a color selection. It's mostly monochromatic. You do have a black oil stain print, which is my favorite. It looks kind of tie-dye-ish. And then you have a plain black and white. For my girls who prefer the darker tones, check out the Surface. We got three bras launching. We have the Limitless, the Altitude, and the Tri Bra. So each of the sports bras are coming in black, white, and black oil stain. I only got the Altitude to show you, so keep that in mind. The shorts, they are a five inch inseam, are coming in black oil stain and black. No white shorts, but I don't think we're gonna miss that. The leggings here get a little complicated. So there's three different types of leggings we're looking at. We have the pocket legging 29 inch inseam, pocket legging 27 inch inseam, so they got two different inseams, and the power legging at 27 inch inseam. All three leggings are coming in black oil stain and black. We will hop into the different waistbands, all the fits and things like that in just a second. But first, do not forget to hit that subscribe button for videos just like this every single week. We review a ton of unreleased Alpha Lee. We pretty much review them every single month. So if you wanna keep up to date with all the new launches, definitely hit that subscribe button. And do not forget, that with every single Alpha Elite purchase you make, you can save 10% with my code GATA. This also helps to support this channel. So if you like these reviews and you wanna see more, then definitely consider supporting and it also saves you 10%. So if you do end up using my code, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it and always let me know if you do, whether it's in the comments or shoot me a DM on Instagram so I can personally thank you. Let's start with what everybody's here for, I'm assuming, right? You clicked this video because you saw new Amplify. If you did and I just called you out, give this video a like. <laughs> so for the shorts, we have good old hazelnut. Pay close attention to this nude color. It might be hit or miss for you, depending on skin tone. This is a big deal when it comes to nudes because sometimes nudes just make me look like I'm wearing nothing. And then I wonder why I'm getting weird looks and then I realize, oh, it looks like I'm wearing no pants. We also have the blossom. I'm not much of a pale pink girl. I'm more of a hot pink. Kind of get. And in the leggings, I got the washed blue, which I already, no, washed blue, washed denim, right? It looks like a pair of jeans that have been washed one too many times. I agree with that. I actually wore the denim blue, that's right, to the gym with the hazelnut crop top because it reminded me of summer, like the sand in the ocean. And I gotta say, I think the small's a little too small for me. <laughs> we also have whale blue. I actually really love this blue. I think it's such a deep, rich, bottom of the ocean kind of blue. Like, yeah, maybe it does look like it's the color of a whale. I'm really not sure. It's like a grayish blue. It's some Moby Dick shit. All of the leggings that I just showed are in a size small, except I did something different today. I actually grabbed another pair of the whale blue, but this time in a size medium, and we're gonna do a comparison because lately I've been feeling like these smalls in the Amplify leggings are a little too compressive around my waistband. 
and it's kind of getting annoying around there. <laughs> so I wanted to try to size up this time around and see how that goes because you already know I only grab mediums in their tight fit shorts and I seem to really like them. They fit perfectly. I wouldn't want to size down to a size small. So I figured, you know what? The same might go for the actual legging itself. So we're gonna find out. The only crop top we're rocking in today's video is the hazelnut color. Athlete's super generous with what they allow us to talk about and what they gift to us but there is a limit to everything. So I always opt to grab more of the amplified leggings and shorts. This way I could get multiple sizes to try on for you guys. I get a ton more questions about leggings and shorts than anything else. So I figured just grab the one crop top to talk about just so I can review it for you. But I know that this is where it's at for you guys. The neckline's actually interesting to me because it's not quite a scoop neck but there is some curvature going on. Sleeves are very comfortable too. There's no digging at all. I think they nailed it with the crop top. I do, there's no extra baggage, no extra material or wrinkling anywhere. Nice body fit look. You do still see a little bit of the sports bra. If you're really just moving around, you're gonna see a little bit pop through, but nothing crazy. Not like how the long sleeve tops used to be, especially, do you remember? They used to have the long sleeve tops come really high in the back and you always saw your sports bra. This one, not so much. They're really, they're really making some headway with these crop tops. Definitely more of my liking. I have reviewed Amplify so many times. I actually have a full Alphalete Amplify playlist. So check that out if you need full fledged reviews, in depth, things like that. I'm gonna talk more about just the colors today. Like I said, this color is my favorite and you can see why. It is so flattering on the peach too. Lighter colors do that. We're all aware. I just think if it's good with your skin tone and doesn't make you look like you're freaking naked, I think you're really gonna dig this color. What are your thoughts on the new 4.5 inch inseam? I know a few launches ago, they made the Amplify shorts a little bit longer. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What are your thoughts? Comment down below. For me, I personally like it. I still find these to be the perfect length shorts. Not too short, not too overly long. They're still sexy as hell. Truthfully, I feel like this launch feels the same as the previous Amplify launch. I don't feel like there's anything different going on here in terms of material or sizing or anything like that. Same stretch, same breathability, you name it. The scrunch is still the same too. I don't think that they would ever F with that recipe. And if they did, they'd be insane because the scrunch is fire. Blossom and hazelnut. This combo is so hot, I'ma call it a blazelnut. Now this is what I'm talking about with the hazelnut color. You grab this crop top and it can go with anything. I don't know if it's because I switched different color shorts, but this top is now looking more gold to me. It's reminding me of that not gold color that they came out with months ago. That's what this is reminding me of. This is a lot lighter though. Yeah, I don't like pink. <laughs> I don't like this kind of pink. I do think, I really do, if you're in between sizes, size on up. You're not gonna sacrifice anything. I think if anything, it will give you a little more glute space, may make the girls pop. It will help a little bit in sheerness. I think that that's your best way to go. I know for me, sizing up, hands down when it comes to the bottoms have been amazing. Speaking of which, let's go check out the whale blue color legging in both small and medium. Another stellar combo. Look at this rich, dark whale blue color. I have a feeling that this is gonna go first. I notice when it comes to amplifies, everyone snatches the darker ones first. Probably has a lot to do with sheerness. And with that being said, I know you guys have been seeing the slides of the overlap wearing nude and dark printed underwear. This goes without say, but the dark whale blue color is your best bet if sheerness is an issue for you. I'm 5'3", you can check out my measurements below. Now, even though amplifiers are long on me, for the most part, you can shimmy it up and make it work, kind of smooth it out, it's that kind of material. Sometimes I still feel like when I do that, you can see a little bit of wrinkling going on here. Like with the shorts that I just tried on and now the leggings, I feel like these are slightly thicker. I'm not complaining. I mean, when you get a darker legging, this is my, maybe something you want towards like the cooler weather. Yeah, this just isn't feeling quite the same as the shorts. I've been rocking a size small for ever, but right around here, it's just a little too grabby. Now, if you prefer high compression around the waistband, then totally stick to your true size, you should have no problem. Me, I think I'm gonna start always sizing up even in leggings. And when I was at the gym wearing my denim blue, wash denim, 
I felt that too when I was moving around, just a little, a little too snug, and I started to feel like, man, I could do with a little less compression. Now keep something in mind. I've been doing my hip thrusts and eating my sweet potatoes. So maybe my dumps actually getting plump for once. Maybe I'm filling out the leggings better. Size small, this is what we're looking at in terms of stretch and compression. Okay, glutes are snug, but not overly snug. Now let's try on a medium and see how it compares. We now have on a size medium in leggings. First thing we're gonna check out, stretch. Let's compare. Waistband, totally less compression, wow. Okay, stretch right around the quad area and the stretch around the glutes. I already feel like there's a 10 times more stretch. They were a hell of a lot easier to get up as well, not as much of a struggle, and they're not as compressive around the waistband. They are subject to some sliding, are they? Because we know as the material goes over your knees, squatting could be pulling down the material. I'm not concerned with the shorts and a medium because you don't have that material going over the knees. But because we do with the leggings, we're gonna do some squat tests and see if I feel any sliding now that I've sized up. <laughs> This is why I love the Amplify. I don't feel any sliding. This is gonna sound crazy, but I feel like, I feel like the scrunch in my cheeks remained where it should be. I feel like the scrunch in my cheeks was helping things stay up. <laughs> so a couple pluses to sizing up here. This is just my opinion. Number one, easier to get on. Number two, you don't run the risk of snapping your beloved scrunch. Another pro, less sheerness. Some cons, depending on your body type, you may or may not experience a little extra room right here, a little more wrinkling. I'm not really seeing much wrinkling. I love this combination so much. This is the first set that I wore to the gym as soon as I got my package in. I wanna make note that this color, you can definitely see more of the marl, whereas the whale blue I just tried on, it looks super opaque, I'm not even really yeah, I'm not really seeing any moral breakup in here, so keep that in mind. It's a very saturated, deep blue. I am wearing this in a size small. Went from that medium in the blue whale to this. I really wish I sized up to a medium in this blue, because I'm feeling it. You guys could probably see the cinching going on, especially with the bra. It just pinches a little too much. So like I said in the beginning of the video, they are launching three different surface sports bras. However, I only have the one. It's the Altitude. I have it in the black oil stain and the regular black color. The surface collection's a lot thicker than the Amplify. So let's take a look at the sports bra. The other ones looked really, really pretty. This one looks cute too. I mean, you got this big open backing. At first glance, you can tell there's a nice amount of coverage. It's got a square neck. You do have the crisscross in the back. No adjustments at all. You do have removable bra pads. Look at that coverage though. I'm gonna say that again. It does come down, so it almost looks like a baby crop top. I remember the last Surface launch, it looked very scratchy looking. I think they did a whole photo shoot in the desert. It totally fit that vibe. This, this black oil stain looks so moody to me. I'm sensing misty graveyard feels. Halloween. Or if you look up real close, it looks like you're in a haunted forest and you're yeah. looking up through the trees right. and the moonlight. Oh! Like, right? These look like trees, oh. right? And if you look up, it's like you're in the forest looking up and then that's the moon being covered by the clouds. <laughs> oh my God, that is why I married you. That is it. This is complete spooky vibe, so if you're a Halloween guru like me, grab a little something for the fall coming up. Speaking of which, thank you guys so much for your suggestions on Salem. You guys really came in clutch when I was talking about it. I can't wait, I'm counting down the days. We are going to Salem in September, I can't wait. Black oil stain power legging. Power? Yes, because there's no crisscross waistband. Thank you very much. Black oil stain pocket legging. Yes, because there's a crisscross waistband in pockets. And we have the black power legging, 27 inch inseam. This feels a little less stretchy than the black oil stain. What's going on? Well, let's go find out. I really wasn't expecting a whole lot from the Surface Collection. I hate to admit that, but I wasn't. So I was like, okay, glutes probably won't look very fire because you got a lot of distractions, it's dark color, no scrunch bum, and I was wrong. When putting on these leggings, the first thing I noticed is as I got them past my hips, the seam 
Now it's not a scrunch on here, but the seam itself, there's glute separation naturally going on here. I like that. This is so brushed and so soft and fairly stretchy. Actually, there's an incredible amount of stretch going on here. Not a ton of compression going on. I know that they're stating it's high impact. I'm not totally feeling high impact in these. I'm feeling more of a moderate support, nothing crazy. Very easy to get on, like I said, very stretchy. Now this is the power legging 27 inch, really great length on me. Now I know that means the 29 inch is gonna be too long on me, but we're wearing 27 and it's working. I actually don't mind these seams whatsoever. They're not around the kneecap, which is thank goodness because I wouldn't be able to even move. I hate when brands do that. But the contouring of the seam goes right around and wraps down the back of the leg. So it's placed really nicely. The crisscross waistband, I feel like it doesn't really do much for me. I think it's a cool look, but it definitely doesn't help with band compression or anything like that. If you're looking for a really compressive waistband, stick, stick with the Amplify. I feel like in the back here, it dips down ever so slightly. It's not high like the Amplify are. I feel like there's a little bit of a drop down here. You can see it in the camera where it looks like it's higher up here and a little bit more down in the back. Now when I'm squatting, I'm not really feeling it shift down, but I feel like over time it will. At the gym, if I'm squatting a lot or even running, really getting down at it, I do feel like this will slowly start to make its way down. Now pulling it up like that is where I want it to be. Yeah. So there's a little bit of slip. We're looking at a gripped logo on the back. It's not sewn in like the Amplify. I feel like this is trapping a little bit of heat. I'm starting to sweat. I can feel it, the moistness forming. I'm sure it's great at concealing sweat, I would imagine, especially with these dark colors. These are kind of reminding me of the Lululemon Aligns, that kind of soft feel. I know a lot of gals, they love working out in this type of material. Me personally, I need as much ventilation as possible. I need seamless, that's my jam. But don't get it twisted. Like, like I said before, this is gonna make a really good legging to go to Salem with, maybe a baggy black hoodie. Cute. Speaking of which, I cannot wait to see what Buff Bunny has in store for Halloween time. Last year they nailed it with the Mad Scientist collection. Perfect for spooky vibes. I'm really hoping they do something like that again. Because I could definitely see it working with this. I'm a size small in the leggings, perfectly true to size. If you're in between, I would probably say size down. As far as the sports bra goes, I feel like it's ever so slightly big, ever so slightly. I could size down if I'm in between sizes with this one. I would give it more of a low to moderate support. I do like the square neck though. I think it really fits with this overall look, having more of a rugged square neck. I actually really dig that it's longer. I like having a variety, a nice option if I want something longer to wear with my leggings. I mean, look, between the legging and, and the crop, bra, it's like none of my stomach showing almost. I am a size small in the sports bra. My one concern was this flap going on here. It had potential to be a little too loose and looking weird, but thankfully it's not. It's nice and form fitted where it counts. But overall, I do think I would still size down. I noticed some of Alpha Elite sports bras are like this for me and this is just one of them. Something I do like about their sports bras though, I noticed that none of them actually dig. I noticed that with Buff Bunny too. They don't dig. So right on the back here, it lays nicely. I never have to worry about like pinching going on here. Trying on the all black, just to give you an idea, this is the same exact set you just saw in the black oil stain, except all black. I noticed this all black is slightly tighter to get up than the oil stain. I heard a couple seams snap here where I didn't hear it on the black oil stain. On the black leggings, they kept the logo matte black, so it blends right in. This is without a doubt something I'm gonna be wearing once the fall and the winter hit. Like these are, these are those kinds of leggings between the thickness, the insulation, the color palette. It's a no brainer. Let's check out the pocket legging, 27 inches of course. These were definitely the easiest to get up. Way easier than the regular black. I mean, they're like two different leggings. So let's check out this pocket. Got my phone. See if it fits all the way. It barely fits my phone. <laughs> so I wanted to match these two up just to see if they float okay. The black and the black oil stain are actually two different kinds of blacks. We have the real stark saturated black up top. Black oil stain, the darkest part of it is actually a really, really, really dark gray charcoal. So keep in mind, I wanted to showcase it this way just in case you were looking at getting one piece over the other or mix because you don't like too much pattern. 
just keep that in mind. This is pretty much what it's gonna look like. All right, let's hear it. It's that time. Comment down below, what are our thoughts? Are we shopping this launch on Saturday? I wanna know. My favorites out of today would be the Hazelnut Amplify, the Denim Blue Amplify, the Whale Blue Amplify, <laughs> and I think the Black Oil Stained Surface blew me away too. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, do not forget to subscribe. Again, we review Alphalete every single month before it releases, and keep posted, we actually have new Buff Bunny coming your way as well. Absolutely gorgeous as always, so you're definitely not gonna wanna miss that. And again, don't forget, anytime you shop Alphalete, use code GATA to save 10%, and it also helps to support this channel. Huge thank you if you do. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.